Are you still searching about what you should do? Are you finishing matric and not sure what you should do? Or are you also just a normal person that is still searching and looking for their call? Well, I am Razia Rangwish, Motivation Life Coach, Body Talk Practitioner, Coming Therapist and Acute Detox Practitioner as well. The more we look into even the holy book, we are advised to identify our personality and this is what we do in sessions we help you to shift more into alignment of who you are and to clear the confusion within yourself and also in sessions i deal with and we have a look at your life print which gives which gives us a better understanding of your personality so you are able to know what are your strengths and your weaknesses and you you can actually hone into that and explore more and develop more upon your personality and um also have clarity because we are all created very differently all five fingers are not the same so all of us are not the same despite what mainstream thinking may have have us thinking that here's the box fit into it and if you can't then there's something wrong with you that's not the case because even uh, in the quran it speaks that we are all very different and we will all have very different sustenance and we all have very different tests so your test will not be exactly the same as not mine my sustenance may not be exactly the same as yours and like that even our personalities are very different so what is our job we're advised to step into our true personality meaning go and see what is your predisposition like some people they may enjoy um art more some may enjoy medicine some may enjoy you know there's so many different things so what is yours what is your predisposition what is your personality and how can you use that to become the best or how can you use that to achieve the most out of life because remember opportunities will always be coming your way but it is up to you to take that opportunity or not and if you are not working on yourself to get into the best version of, of yourself and obviously hone in on your strengths then how can you even see those opportunities and go forth for them so that's number one key find out what is your personality what are your strengths also what are your weaknesses and if you have a weakness then for example if you shy then you really want to go and stay around shy people because that's going to also keep you very stuck and why it's better that shy people should maybe socialize with the extroverts because that does bring about the balance you know everything is dual tea like if you have some people that love to laugh a lot and those that are quiet sometimes at least the quiet one can say okay enough <laughs> it brings about the balance so identify your personality work on your strengths um work on your weaknesses and try to just step into whatever it is um that you feel you need to go and do and if you're confused the best thing is obviously to start working venture out and explore and i told you don't explore and even experience some failures you're not going to really know where you can actually tighten a few screws or improve in certain aspects failure brings a lot of growth so it's not necessarily bad everything that happens is always good for you but you've got to make the effort and you've got to keep going so that's my little motivation for today i hope you have enjoyed it and until next time lots of love and peace